Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be starting a new series on power and energy and a new system that I am currently working on for my own mod. But I'll be doing a tutorial on all the little parts that uh, make up the mod and I have a lot planned so it's going to be a long series. But I'll do my best to explain how it all works and it's not too much different than Forge Energy, it just uses variables rather than using the Forge Energy system. So I have some worksheets uh, over on the other screen here that I'll be reading off and uh, I'll be dis describing how the system works and then we can basically take it from there. How does Forge Energy work? Now this is a pretty in-depth question. Forge Energy uses a suppose a variable based system built into the blocks when you assign it a forge uh, property for power. It will basically push power from a block that has power into a block that can basically accept the power units from the block that is being pushed in. Blocks don't, they, they can be pulled into, however it wouldn't be great for cross mod support because you wouldn't be able to detect what kind of block is there or all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be using the push method into other blocks because we can also use that as cross mod support with variables. So I'll explain how that works later on, but let's move on to our next question. How does forge energy move? So first you need to actually test if the connected blocks has spots for energy. So if it has room to push the energy into, then you can push the energy into it. But without testing for it, you wouldn't be able to move the power. So after you've tested if there's room, then what you could do is subtract the energy from the current block and then push or add the basically the units into the other block. So it's basically just subtracting what you have in the block and then adding an additional value to the other block. But it's not really transferring so much the power as it's just removing one and adding to another. How can I generate power? This is a really interesting question because it's a little bit easy and it's a little bit hard to understand. Now, if you don't want to have energy storage then you don't need energy storage with forge energy but uh, with our system it's easier to have a storage based system just so that the block can transfer a little bit easier and it has like a little bit of a reserve i'll cover i'll show an example with this tool that i have in my hand right now but basically you don't need to test if the block has energy you can just push energy directly into it and then with extra conditions you can basically tell the block if when to generate power. Uh, like I said before you're always adding and removing power so you can actually use the same system it's just you're always constantly adding power. For example with a solar panel you're testing if it's day, the type of weather, and if you can see the block above it, if the sky can be seen above the block. Now if those conditions are met, then what can happen is you can basically generate an infinite source of power that will get pushed into whatever surrounded blocks that are connected to it. And then that would go along the chain until it gets to whatever device that needs it. So we finally made it to our actual tutorial part for the introduction. Now we got all the forge stuff out of the way. Uh, how does the this variable system work? Like I said before, power is pushed from one block to another. This is not any different to uh, the system that I'm working on. It uses the same concept. It's a variable based system. So we're actually testing uh, when, for example, when we place down this block right here, we have two variables, actually we have a ton of variables for this block, but uh, the two main variables is energy capacity for how much the block have a full power of, and there's a field capacity, which basically lets you know how much power is actually in the block. Now if we 
use this tool right here. Uh, it's an energy meter, nothing special. Matt actually did a tutorial on how to make this. You can right click on the wire and it says the energy capacity is 500 and the energy storage is 500. So we know that this power, this line right here has power going through it. Now there, on top of those variables, there are also directional sides, uh, both input and output variables, true or false statements. So for this example right here, for this wire, we have a input, which is our blue icon. And that is basically at the bottom. So it's facing downwards. And then we have a output facing upwards. So we have to do that for each six sides and then specify the direction for each block. Does the power generate the same way as Forge? So very close to the same way. It uses the same method as pushing. I'm not sure if it's sort of could be considered the same way because obviously Forge, you don't actually have control over the variables so much, but you can set the variables to in our particular thing. So it, it does work very similar to Forge, but uh, it is cross mod compatible because anyone with these using the same variables in these wires uh, we'll be able to basically tie into those wires uh, and or our mod will be able to tie into that mod. So it's like it can be used either way, right? So it's hard to explain. I'll be doing more specific tutorials on specific things, but uh, let's go over a little bit over some of the blocks that I have created. Obviously we have the wires. The wires transport the, the power from one direction to another. There is a total of, I think, five different block states uh, that wires require. I'll make sure to provide the template that I have for my actual wires when I do the tutorial on them. Uh, those are all the different directions. We're using rotations for the actual wires themselves. So we created one model and then we've basically, basically used rotations to set them all up. And those are all the different types of corners and stuff like that that you can basically create. So they all perfectly work the way that they should. Uh, I've also added intersection blocks which allow for easy switching directions. I need to work on the texture a little bit, but uh, basically each side has a input or output that can be assigned. If we click on this, we can choose if it's an input. Obviously magenta is our input because we have it coming from a power block. So we would set this to input and the rest could be output. And that can basically go any direction. So I've set it up like this. With the power systems, they're more complex than just to cover in just one basically tutorial. But when it's all actually being added, you can have a system like this. And if we grab a spawn egg, like a pig, we can actually place the pig down on here and you can see that it gets pushed from our device. Uh, we can actually adjust the power. And uh, yeah, it's basically that tutorial that I came out with really recently and you can basically use that with a powered system. Uh, now, batteries, solar panels, I've been working a lot on the wires recently because that's a huge part of the mod and they're still not completely finished. I've been working all weekend on them and they're pretty stable now, so I'm pretty happy with it, but uh, there's still a lot of work to do, mostly with when the blocks are placed nearby and stuff like that. They're also flammable, so as you can see like that, they just, uh, caught fire and um, yeah so there's a whole bunch of script that goes into making these but I'll cover that in another tutorial if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching peace out